Using sections in Index Pass, we're able to display our table views information dynamically as well as locate and update our table views as needed. So in the example we have here, we have three sections and we notice that we start with section zero, again zero based counting, and we notice that each one of the sections inside of our table view have three rows. However, Sections can have different numbers of rows. For example, section two in this example could have two rows instead of three. So let's try doing a few more things using an index path. First, let's add a second section. So we're going to scroll up and we're going to update the number of sections in table view to return two. We can also have the second section have a different number of rows. Let's use an if statement uh, inside of the method number of rows in section. So we're going to, below this, below the return number of rows in section, we're going to say if, and we can say section equals zero, which is our first section. We can say return three. Otherwise, we'll use an else statement here, return two. Now let's update our self row at index method so that if we're in section zero, we'll have a background color of red, and if we're in section 2, we'll have a background color of blue. So we're going to add an if statement below cell.textlabel.text, and we can say if index path dot section is equal to 0, we can say cell.background color is equal to UI color, and we're going to use a, a class method called red color, and this will return a, a UI color object that's of red color set up and we'll be able to set that equal to our background color which expects a UI color as its property. So we can also add an else statement below it and we'll say cell.background color is equal to UI color blue color. Now we can go ahead and run our application and we'll see that we have two sections. Our top section is now in red and our bottom section is in blue. And our top section has three rows, where our bottom section only has two rows.